<clears throat> All right, so let's calculate the hazard ratio for a set of data. This particular problem says, estimate the hazard ratio for incidence of diabetes when drinking one to two cups of coffee compared to drinking no coffee, according to Zhang et al. You will need to read the percentages from the graph. So a uh, hazard ratio is the percent, percent of events for the treatment group divided by the percent of events for the control group. And what we've got here is uh, incidence of diabetes and 95% confidence interval. We'll need the data points versus cups or glasses of coffee per day. We're comparing one to two cups to the control group, which is zero cups of coffee. So our hazard ratio is going to be the percent events uh, for treatment group. So there are 18.9% incidence of diabetes in the control group. That's that 18.9. And we get 21.6% for our control group, which is zero cups of coffee. Dividing these two numbers, 18.9 divided by 21.6. Uh, oh, yes, my hazard ratio is 0 0.875, or uh, we could go to three. Yeah, we should go to three digits because we have three digits in each of our numbers that we're dividing. So our hazard ratio is 0 0.875, which means that there's approximately, oh, and since it says type your answer, um, you would have to do 0 0.875 for your answer for this. But what does it mean? That there's an approximately one minus 0 0.875 um, times, 100% reduction in um, chances of getting uh, diabetes. Let's see this. Chances or maybe that's so reduction in incidence because we can't say chances. Chances implies cause and effect. Well, we can say it's correlation. Uh, incidence of getting diabetes uh, if you drink one to two cups of coffee per day versus zero cups per day. Um, and that, just to give that to you, one minus 0.875 times 100 is 12.5% reduction in the incidence, and we'll stick with that.